Hey guys, and welcome back to Mize Bug. In this episode, we are gonna start installing the main structure in the back here to hold our transmission and our engine. Um, we've got our Mendiola 2D mock-up that we're gonna be starting to fixture into position. And over here, we have our J35 Turbo that we picked up on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, we're gonna start getting that in here as well. But first, let's go over some of the things I've already done. So the first thing I did was I completely leveled the car. I got it leveled uh and roll this direction and also pitch so this direction it's now leveled and then i made sure to get a center line on the car so i got a center line here on the torsion housing and i've also got a center line on my cart and i ran that center line all the way up the vehicle up the center of the tunnel up through the so i just made sure this thing is completely straight and then i figured out the distance that i'm going to be spreading my two main tubes using this mendiola mount that i bought and then i built these two tubes here and um, I've dropped them an inch and a quarter below the stock position. So it's an inch and a quarter below this line here. So if you were ever to flip this thing upside down, you'll be able to see that there is a step in the bottom of the bug and uh, this back section where the engine's gonna be, it's gonna be an inch and a quarter lower than the rest of the vehicle. Um, right now, I know that I wanna tip this transmission five degrees uh, engine side up, but I don't know how that's going to correlate to the actual mounting of it yet So right now these two tubes this fixture is level So right now I got it zero with the rest of the car, but I want to create as much clearance uh, Underneath right here as I can so once I get this transmission uh, Tipped at five degrees. I'll be able to see if I can bring those tubes up at all if I can't that's okay I'll just run it right at zero degrees It'll be level with the rest of the pan and then I'll kick it up as soon as I possibly can to clear the engine. So that's what I'm gonna get started on right now. Uh, let's see how it goes and I'll just stop and talk through any weird stuff that I find. So these tubes will end up somewhere in here, just outside of the original frame horns. And what I'll end up doing or what I'm planning on doing is actually putting a bend in this tube and coming up and picking up into the torsion housing. And I've seen that done before on a few of James Ginsburg's builds and it looks like it works well and he's had success with it. And not all of the load is gonna be going into that joint anyways. I'm gonna have support structure coming down from the rest of the cage to help support the transmission and engine. And once this thing is all connected together, it should be very robust structure. And so in order to help this joint here, so I'm not just welded on the outside of this tube, uh, once I get this up here and I actually do get it welded and positioned, um, I'll come in with plate and I'll come in here and box this up as best I can to kind of reinforce that joint there. But obviously I like to design as I go, so uh, I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like yet, but we'll see. The rest of the cage back here is pretty much done and we're ready to start assembling all of this.
All right, well, that wasn't too bad. It was just a lot of fixturing and checking and double checking and making sure that uh, everything was square and that my distances out to my hubs were correct and that I was centered on center line and these tubes were level and my kick is the same and they're at the same location on the torsion housing. It was a lot to check. Um, one thing I recommend is getting one of these lasers. It was actually a big help. Um, just trying to make sure it gives you a nice solid reference point. It's a self-leveling laser and it gives you a good reference point for anything you need to measure off of. Um, and then also just you having lots of levels and don't tack anything until you're, you got everything fixtured and ready to go. Um, but yeah, it was actually not too bad. Uh, now I'll throw the transmission in and I'll start figuring out how to mount the front side. Moment of truth here. Let's see if these all line up. One thing I messed up on is I should have put this bracket behind here. So now I've got one on the front side, one on the back side. And so the transmission's kind of trapped. Once this is welded in, it has to come straight up to come out. So I'm gonna move this one to the back side or the front side. And then that way I can unbolt it and I can just slide it right out. But let's check this angle here. Let's see what we got. 4.9. That's pretty dang close. 4.9. Close enough for a 3D printed transmission. Yep, that'll do. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up this video for today. I'm gonna start uh, adding tubes inside here to support these uh, lower transmission mounts. Before I do that, I wanna get my fuel tank sitting right there, uh, installed in the back back here. And I wanna do that right now because once I start adding a bunch of tubing in here, it's just gonna get harder to access back there. Um, so I'm probably gonna jump off this, get the fuel tank in, and then I'll move on to adding the rest of the structure back here. I also need to get a hold of a real transmission at some point and uh, that way I can hang my engine on here and add the rest of the engine, the engine mount. Uh, it's coming along nicely. I'm not gonna weld anything final yet until I get the rest of everything in here. So yeah. Remember to uh, like and subscribe and check out my website, mysbugstore.com. I've got some cool stuff on there, hats, t-shirts, sweaters, and I also sell some carbon fiber parts. So any of that stuff will help support me. And All right, um, I will catch you guys later.